Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to explain you a solution for projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this, a rectangular plate of negligible thickness of size 35 mm by 20 mm has one of its shorter edges in VP with that edge inclined at 40 degree to HP, draw the top U if its front U is a square of 20 mm. Now according to the given question, uh, the size of the rectangle is 35 by 20 mm and the shorter edge is in VP and that is inclined at 40 degree to HP that is nothing but the third stage and in the second stage the instead of giving the inclination they have given the size as 20 mm square. Now how to solve this problem? So one can go to a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 mm. So let us draw an XY line and after drawing an XY line it has to be marked using the text command as the end points as X as well as Y and since we are dealing with the first quadrant so it has to be marked as VP and HP and then uh, go to a command called as a rectangle with a thickness of 0 0.5 the width of the rectangle is 35 and height is 20 millimeter and it is in VP so we will place this in VP at an angle of 0 degree and now you can see the front view is located here to get the top view one has to draw the projectors from all the corners till the XY line to mark the top view and then when we are going to complete the top view it is going to be a thick line like this then uh, make use of uh, this smart dimension or the distance between command show that the rectangle dimension is 35 by 25 millimeter then make use of a text command and name the respective corners of the rectangle this corner could be named as a dash and this corner will be named as b dash and this corner will be named as c dash and this corner could be named as d dash accordingly the top view will be named as d as well as a and here it will be b as well as c so this completes the required construction of stage one and immediately after stage 1 stage 3 is given so we have to consider the last condition as the second condition that is 20 mm square has to be constructed when it is 25 mm square has to be constructed a dash d dash remains 20 but however a dash b dash will be getting reduced to 20 millimeter so for which one has to go to the rectangle command once again with the thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter with d dash as a reference point uh, we have to construct a 20 millimeter height and width at an angle of 0 with b dash as a reference point one has to construct the front view like this and now after this construction uh, one can uh, join these lines that is b d, uh, d dash to d dash as well as a dash to a dash now when we connect this we are going to show that the height is fixed as 20 millimeter and to get the square of 20 millimeter one has to show that this dimension as 20 millimeter the other dimension with the help of a projector will be shown as 20 millimeter over here then make use of a line command uh, this will become a dash and this will become b dash and then this will become c dash and this will become d dash now one can see that a d will be on the x y line so d a will be on the x y line when it is going to be projected so now make use of a line command with the thickness of uh, 0 0.13 d a will be here whereas b c is moving away from the vertical plane so that it is moving in front of a vertical plane so that the 35 mm will become 20 mm at what angle it is becoming 20 angle to identify it we know that the length of the top view that is d to b or a to b or a to c or d to b or d to c whatever it may be that distance is 35 millimeter so go for arc by center point command and set the radius value as 35 millimeter we know that d to a is here and bc is moving away at a distance of 35 millimeter like this and then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter one can join this da to bc over here then after joining this make use of a text command name this corner as b as well as c 
and then and then we one have one can measure this angle and we can show that the angle is 55 degree which is not required to measure but we can measure the angle and it is showing as 55 degree inclination this is going to get a 20 by 20 mm square and after which we have to draw the next condition what's the next condition the shorter edge is in VP with that edge is inclined at 40 degree to HP what is the shorter edge A dash D dash is a shorter edge now after the inclination it remains 20 mm as in condition of first stage and the given angle is true angle so the true length has to be produced on the true angles now make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 millimeter one can construct a 40 degree line now for which uh, draw an inclined line whose angle is supposed to be 40 degree and then after marking this angle as 40 degree and then uh, make sure that the line a dash d dash is supposed to be on the 40 degree line for which one has to select the top view so sorry front view completely go to the move command move with respect to either a dash or d dash and it has to be repositioned exactly on the 40 degree line with the help of point on element and then go to a rotate command make sure that a dash is fixed point and d dash is going to be rotated and it is going to be obtained on the point on element and parallel so that the line AD will be on the 40 degree line. Make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13. Start with the right extreme corner that is C dash. Join C dash to C. So now along with C we have B. So then we shall consider the B also to this projector. And then we have the next right extreme corner as D dash is supposed to be extended up to the XY line and A dash is also supposed to be extended at the X Y line. Now one can see that this intersection problem uh, is disturbing us then in such conditions if it is a vertical projector lock it as 90 degree and if it is a horizontal position lock the angle as 90 degree. Now one can see that we have drawn the vertical projectors and horizontal projectors at necessary conditions and this corner will become A and this corner will become B this corner will become C and this corner will become D. Now make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter. One can join A to B as a dark line with 0.5 mm thick, B to C, C to D, uh, D is supposed to be the end point and back to A. Now one can see that the problem is completed in all aspects. If anyone is having any sort of doubt to solve them, you can call me and I can say that it's completed. And please do share this video to all your first year engineering students and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys once again.